This is my 30 pound combat robot, Professor Wasp, and it might just be the most dangerous thing I've ever built. We're talking full welded bulletproof steel chassis. Five pounds is some of the hardest steel I have access to for the weapon, all spinning upwards of 250 miles an hour. This thing is scary. But is it scary enough? To find out, I took it to two of the most intense competitions across America with one goal, to prove that I can hang with the legends of the sports. He's a little guy. He's so tiny. Where oh my going? gosh. Where are you going? You're so full of soup. So we get to the venue on Friday and frankly, I feel good. We've been building, iterating, and testing on the build. And so far, everything seems solid. The only thing left to do is to see how it all goes. And this event is certainly one of trial by fire. After passing safety, getting some drive practice in, and spending some time at the group Airbnb, <laughs> I was ready. My first fight was against another Bert in Joust, and yes, that's how it's spelled. Let's see how that fight went. Go, three, two, one, fight! I get counted out here at the end, and I lose my first match of the day. But you know what? All things considered, not that bad. Early on though, it was clear that he was beating me in the ground game, causing me to end up on my head. I did get one really good hit here, in the middle, but ultimately both sides of my drive died, and I lost. Why did my drive die? Hmm. I wonder if it's these garbage screws that I use that poke up maybe three hair widths out. Maybe that was the problem, Josh. These screws mount the motor to the gearbox, and without them, I don't have drive. To remedy this, I took the very sophisticated approach of jamming a bunch of Loctite into there and praying. And I didn't have to pray for that long. Our second fight was against the Melty Brain Spinner, Persistence of Memory. The rest of this fight is just me dying in the corner and it's not that interesting. Well, we lost again, and you know what? It's in a very similar fashion with our drive going out. Any guesses as to why? It was the screws. It was the same screws again. We also lost the front wedge too, but that was really just insult to injury. And with that, our record is 0-2 and we are officially out of the tournament now, which really sucks. Eventually, we were able to track down some longer screws from a friend, which allowed us to have some really fun grudge matches before we left. Woo! No, these grudge matches aren't as satisfying as an actual in-tournament win, but at this point, I was just happy to see it work. As far as first events go, it was alright. We learned a lot, and so we should be more ready for the next one. Okay, with RCL out of the way, it was then time to go to the big one in Connecticut. 
Grab your plane ticket because we're heading to Norwalk. Bam. What you doing? Um, putting on vinyl in my robot. But it's 3 a.m. right now. Dude, time is a time is not real in a plane. It doesn't matter. Between the last comp and this one, there weren't that many changes we made. The longer screws did seem to be doing their job, but I did epoxy them on just to be safe. I printed some new armor, got some new wheels, and even remade the pulley because the belts were slipping a bit on the old version. Nothing too major. We were dialed in and ready for our first fight of the day against Synthesis 30? For those of you who don't know, Synthesis 30 is a perennial contender in the 30 pound weight class, going toe to toe with the likes of Emulsifier and Vorion. And in case you forgot, Professor Wasp has not won a fight yet, ever. Here goes nothing. Got plenty of action in cage four. Synthesis 30 going up against Professor Wasp. Oh, that is a big hit. Professor Wasp, this is their first time here at NHRL. Yes. And I am so impressed with this row. And look, Synthesis 30 is stuck. They may be down for the wow. count. Wow. Was not expecting that, especially with pieces dangling from Professor Wasp and a fork that is torqued. Knockout! Knockout! <laughs> oh, yeah. No way. No freaking way we just did that. I've had a lot of big wins before, but this one by far is my biggest. Okay, one robot down. All we need to do is beat one more robot before we're off to the main bracket. Our next opponent is Undertaker, who... Wait, what? It's time to meet our next competitors. Let's get right into it. First up... Professor Wasp. You know what? I'll take it. We're gonna jump right back into cage. Because Undertaker could not continue, we got the automatic pass into prime time. Now we find ourselves just one fight away from locking in our ticket to the December championships. Only one robot stood in our way, the shuffling egg beater of Kill Switch. Fight. Let's see if they can fight. keep it going. Ooh, big punch right to the face from Kill Switch. The weapon on Professor Wash is not, Wasp is not up to speed. Ooh. Kill Switch really having their way here with Professor Wasp just unable to do anything right now against that weapon, tearing off the entire side pen. This is a tremendous amount of damage. Each one of these little hits just beating the ever-loving snot out of Professor Wasp. They're calling for an unstick right away, and you know what? Kill Switch says, buzz off! <laughs> Flo, Kill Switch. I don't need any of your interruption. I can I'm gonna give keep... him an unstick. <laughs> don't tell me not to play with my food. Oh! The crowd reacting to these big hits as Professor Wasp goes bouncing off the glass. Yeah, Kill Switch delivering a punishment on Professor Wasp. Oh. Weapon on Kill Switch here, spinning down a little bit. Ah, there we go, back up to speed. You can see Driver, a uh, lot of intensity here. That is not where they want to be, but the weapon is now working on Professor Wasp again. They're spinning uh, up fast. Kill Switch is going to back off here. No more unsticks are available, but Professor Wasp is showing a little bit of movement. Yeah, just enough not to get counted out, but. I don't know, this is right on the edge. Oh! Big weapon to weapon engagements. Professor Wasp. Wow, oh, look at that! Four pieces went flying, that weapon is toast on Professor Wasp. Kill Switch is just waiting for all the right moments to come in. Another pin. So many big hits. You hear the crowd counting the pins down. And they back off. And this might be a knockout, as I don't think Professor Wasp is able to move at all. With one wheel, no weapon, and a ram in the corner. That is your fight, knockout. robot fans. Did you catch it at the beginning? Only one of these two weapons were spinning, and it wasn't ours. Ooh. That first hit was rough, but once they got our wheels, that was really at the beginning of the end. 
So what happened? At RCL, the weapon worked perfectly. The only thing I changed were some new screws and the new pull... Oh. The pulleys. You know how I said earlier that I tweaked the pulleys because the belts were too loose? Now I had the opposite problem and these pulleys were too tight. But like, not in an annoying way where it was super obvious. No, the tension was just tight enough where maybe one out of five times, the spin-up would not spin reliably. And against Kill Switch, we got unlucky. Overall, yeah, I'm happy with this build. I built this robot originally to prove to myself that I can make competitive builds, and I feel like I'm so close to something great. So I guess that brings us to today. This is Professor Wasp in its current state. Um, you can see it's been disassembled a bit just to get through TSA. But honestly, it's not that bad. The biggest damage was to the back of the robots right here. You can see this back panel has been punched in pretty aggressively, as well as we have a new speed hole right here in the back. The weapon motor screws have all but almost been completely destroyed here at the bottom, causing the motor to be a little uh, loose. And we lost two tires here in that last fight. But 10 minutes of welding, I think it's gonna be back in business. That's the video I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you're interested in seeing Professor Wasp in person, I'm actually going to be at Open Sauce this year with him alongside all the other actual BattleBots that are gonna be showing up. In case you somehow don't know, Open Sauce is like the world's greatest science fair with tons of great personalities, from Willie Mosman to Michael Reeves to Mark Rober. They're all going to be there and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll put a link to buy tickets in the description below.